about how we use imagery to improve water and nutrient management in agriculture. So for a long time, agriculture um, didn't have access to proactive imagery. So what does that mean? The industry standard was something called NDVI, and that's the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. And it's really good at identifying strong and weak points in an orchard or a field, but there's a couple hangups with that. One is when you see a problem, you can't tell, is this an irrigation problem or is it a fertilizer problem? Like how do I tackle that solution? The second thing is that when you're trying to solve a problem based on like a low canopy biomass, you're trying to solve a problem that's already had reduced canopy and probably already incurred yield losses. So we wanted to be proactive, provide proactive imagery. So in doing that, we provide images that are specific to water and nutrient uptake and when you're treating problems based on those tiny uh, sensitivities to water and nutrient uptake, you can truly be proactive and solve those problems before they give you a yield loss and hurt your yields. So what we're looking at is, whoop, what we're looking at is NDVI here, which this is from a customer in almonds, and everything looks great. Everything looks very uniform and very healthy. But when we use series imaging, you can see that top left area where there's red and yellow, and that's indicating high water stress. And so our farmer was like, I just drove out there, I saw the water running, let me go check it out. He went and checked it out, and he saw that the water just hadn't been turned on all the way, which is a common problem. When you're driving around, it looks like the water's running, it just hadn't been turned up all the way. So he went and he fixed that problem, and he was able to get a 4X return on his investment just off of that one image alone, which was really exciting. So. How, do our, um, how is our product delivered? First, our farmers are able to pick their timing and frequency of their schedule. So that helps tackle a lot of different crop types and crop sizes. So we're able to be very dynamic around a long growing season. Then our uh, pilots are contracted throughout the geographic region and they go fly week by week to serve those farmers at each region. So it's very efficient. Then the imagery is processed and it's delivered to our customers via a web app or mobile app. And this process has allowed us to scale past a million acres to date over the last five years, which is also very, very exciting. So this is really um, useful. It's a great product. It's very accurate and proactive, but it doesn't mean anything if our customers don't understand how to use it and they don't understand how to interpret the imagery. So we are truly imagery as a service. Okay, so imagery as a service, meaning when that imagery is delivered, we want to facilitate imagery literacy. So we have like pins and notes in the mobile app that our customer success team drops in to prioritize problems. And then we meet and provide consultations in person or on the phone. So by doing that, we really do provide the whole picture.